Good morning, ladies and gents, and welcome back to Derail Valley. I'm Nexus, and today, well, today, you know what we're going to do today if you were one of the people who asked me to do this. Um, so what we're going to do is this is going to be the steam engine tutorial. And what I'm going to do is you see we're here in the yard at the docks from uh, yesterday's episode, and there's a lot of tankers waiting, but we're not going to do none of that. Anyway, what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to spawn in... I'm going to attempt. It's kind. Of, it's rather interesting to try and spawn in. Um, if it's going to let me do it, really? Why? Oh, there it goes. Um, okay, so that's P, and then that's the the right the right bracket, right? And then enter. There's the steam engine. This is the harder part: is getting the tender box, you know, exactly where you want it to be. So we need to again oh no. right here no I want you to do it here I've had this problem before it just it doesn't like to cooperate <laughs> Almost, not quite, but almost. Gotta get close. I had to get close the last time to, to get it to work. No, 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 no. Let's see. Right here, and then press P, and then back up. It's not gonna do it, is it's in front. I promise you it does work. Why doesn't it want to move forward? No. Oh, because it's the wrong piece, that's why. <laughs> nope, need you over here. Alright, devs, uh, you really need to fix this. This is ridiculous. If I point at this track and hit P, it should go there. No questions asked. Why is it going there? No. No. It should go here. Like, wh why, is this, why is this so difficult? Why is the game giving me so much trouble? P, go there. go anywhere. Yeah, you did. You went over there. Oh my goodness. Alright. I'll be back when I get this connected. Okay. I'm back. For the sake of argument, and for the sake of the devs knowing exactly what we're talking about, since I'm going to add, you know, the first segment in, what I did is I used this shunter because I couldn't get the damn thing to... It's really... It, it's, it's harder than it needs to be, honestly. If I point to this track and hit P, hit Steam Tender, it should just pop the green box right here. Whether I'm standing here or not, it should pop the damn green box here. And keep it there until I want to place it. It shouldn't put it over there, over there, on the other side of the tanker. It, that's ridiculous. That needs, like, serious work. Um, so what I did instead was I put the engine in neutral, and I put it in uh, the thing in reverse. So I used the shunter, and I just bumped the front of the steam engine. And so that it rolled back, and as you'll see, right in here... Here's the connector. It actually, it looks like it, it connected. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this thing. Or we're just going to shut this thing down because we don't even have to move it. Because um, we're not taking the engine anywhere. I mean, we are. I guess we do have to move it. All right, we'll move it real quick.
We're going to put this back on the other track. I ain't got no power. I turned all the, f the fuse and everything off, so well, I probably shouldn't have just let it run 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 like that. It's probably gonna end up a runaway train. Uh, oh, I saw that light up. Oh, okay. So that's how you use that. I have been fit trying to figure out how to use this machine for the longest. Like, why won't it let me buy the stuff that I want to buy? Okay, it's because yeah. Anyway, back to the back to the matter at hand. That engine is still going. <laughs> All right. All right. So, no, someone had said something to me in the comments uh, regarding today's episode about the floor vent. Uh, I don't see a floor vent that they're talking about. There's the firebox, um, unless they're talking about this thing right here. And um, if that's the case, the only thing I can say. That's not part of the engine, though. That's part of the... Um, that's, uh, I would say, this is part of the either the exhaust system or uh, somehow related or connected to the condenser. Uh, the rest of it, we're going to go through. Um, but I hadn't even noticed those two things, that, uh, that floor vent thing, um, until I was noted, until someone had said something to me about it. I don't even know what that is. I've never seen that before. Maybe I have. Oh, what's that do? I don't know. I'm not real sure. Or maybe we'll have to look at the book for that. Uh, but, alright, so, beginning, let's make sure that we are actually connected. Which we aren't. Oh boy. Are we not connected? Nope. Apparently not. Oh, we're in range. Oh, okay, so we can connect. Alright, awesome. Now are we in range? Yeah, okay, there you go. So, before, I don't know if that was a, an option before, but you just saw that it was. You can actually bump the locomotive with the shunter if you can't get the tender placed right, and bump it back into the thing, and then just come in here and connect it, like you would connect anything else. All right, so first things first, make sure that this regulator right here is pulled all the way out, meaning, you know, you got to pull down. If you pull up, you're going to push it in. So make sure that's pulled all the way out. Open your firebox. I like to open it about, oh, yay much. Get your shovel out. Uh-oh. Oh, it has to actually be pulled out now? Or all the way? Yep, has to be pulled all the way now. They fixed it. I also think that, th I don't think that the fire burns as fast anymore. Alright, I think we're full up on that. Let's get out the lighter. Um, <laughs> that's right, they changed it. Like a couple of cowboys. Oh, that's not good. I don't like that. And I have to be really close. Okay, so, alright. Basically, I like the mouse button. I wish I could uh, bind that. Maybe that'll be a feature later. Uh, Alright, so fire's going, and now you need to come over here and look at this thing. This is the water thing, alright? For some reason, it's already a quarter full. I don't know why. Twist this around, and this fills up the gauge. You can leave it tweaked open, like, you know, one or two clicks, and it'll keep a steady flow. Or you can just close it, and when it gets low, you can refill it. Okay, now let's close the firebox. And you will see that we are starting to generate steam. Choo choo. Uh, Alright, we can use this now. It doesn't work, though. I lied. It does work, and that's pretty awesome. Thanks, guys. That's a nice addition. I was like, oh, it's not working! That's pretty nice. I like that. I like that a lot. 
Now, if only we could stop colliding in the tunnels and being pulled out of the, in the steam engine and up the cliff, which has not happened in the shunter, as you guys have seen. But you've seen it happen in... Uh Still producing? We are. How much coal's left? A lot. Oh, they f actually... Yeah, that's right. That's the update. Fix that. Um, it's not a... Uh, it doesn't burn as fast anymore. You're only using like 0.01% or something if you're not actually generating the steam, I think. Okay, so we'll wait till we get to 12. This thing's coming back this way? How did that happen? Oh, let's go deal with this. Um, that's not going to work. Right. Don't know why we didn't just throw the brakes the last time. sure anyway back to the steam locomotive we should be good now oh yeah we're up to 15 so now what we're gonna do is uh, throw this wheel forward and that's forward um, I think full power our forward is um, yeah that's it that's right I, I'm sorry I was looking at it wrong um, okay so now we want to take the brakes off this down here is your sand off on off on um, we'll get to this in the book okay this one is fire out which puts out the firebox obviously this one's the blower right here underneath you can see it says blower this will help uh, cool the firebox or help it you know burn faster then there's the steam dump right here and then the water dump this one, I don't know what this one does because it's chiseled out. I can't read it, so I don't know. Um, I never had, I've never had to use it, um, honestly, and I don't think I got far enough in the manual to, uh, we gotta dump some of the steam. Um, I don't think I ever got far enough in the manual to find out what it did. But we'll go through it together. Right, don't leave that open again, Nexus. All right, now we're ready to boogie. Um, so you want to push this in just a little bit until you hear that, <laughs> and then you're good. So all I did was click on the mouse to pull that down. There we go. Honestly, I think horn should be H or something. Because it, it doesn't do anything else. Oh, yeah, it does. It uses... It tells this thing to go the other way. <laughs> My bad. Alright. Steam engines can typically handle corners, uh, tighter corners, better than the shunter can. At least it could before the last update. So we're going to find out. Firebox is about out. Yeah, normally we wouldn't use the shunter to take that corner quite like that because uh, it would be bad. Are we carrying cars? No, we're not. I thought we were. <laughs> I thought we were hauling cars there for a second. All right, moment of truth. Let's see if the thing's going to pull us out. I'm going to stand up here and see if it still pulls me out. Usually I'm standing back there by the engine, but that's because that's where the controls are. All right, awesome. It didn't do it there. But that doesn't mean that it's fixed. It may just mean that I wasn't standing up here like I normally am. All 
Alright. We don't have any cars. It's just the engine and the tender. It's not actually going to be a full episode. It's just, Well, I mean, it'll be a full episode. It's just not a hauling episode. All right, so now we can start to see that we're starting to go up a grade and slow down, so we're going to push this in a little more. And you hear it. going 40 not even 40 kph should be all right this is one of those corners that uh doesn't like the shunter going too fast on it but the steam engine as i said handles seems to handle the corners a lot better than the shunter does Need more coal soon, so let's just shovel it in there now. All right, maybe they fixed it in the update. Maybe I'm not gonna get pulled out anymore. Maybe it's just those couple times, like those five that I went through. All right, we're at. Oh, just over 40. Close the firebox. It's very possible we might derail. You can start to hear the grind. Water's out, that's what that means. We are going uphill, you can tell. All right, so I'm gonna stand right here and see what happens. Oh, I didn't get pulled out again. Nice. Thank you, devs. I don't know if you did that in the last update or if the colliders are, or the, the tunnels are just, you know, not grabbing me due to some kind of glitch that was, you know, present that's not anymore. But uh, yes, whatever you did or didn't do, thank you. If I see one of the tunnels um, that I know for a fact that I got pulled out of, I'll stand close to the tender and see what happens. All right, so let's look at the map real quick, see where we are. We should be okay. All right, so let's go through the manual and you'll see what I knew and what I didn't know. Regulator, we went over that. Open the fire door, we went over that. Shovel coal into the firebox, we went over that. Put on our speed here. We are kind of going uphill, but. Uh, light the lighter using the lighter. Or light the fire using a lighter. Close the door. Add water to the boiler. Close the injector when the water is full. Observe steam being generated. Roll cut off forward as it goes forward. I'm going to slow down a little bit because it just sounds bad. <laughs> All right, so forward is top power. Uh, top speed is the middle. And uh, reverse top power. So... If it's reversed all the way, it's uh, top power reverse. If it's reversed all the way forward, it's top power forward. And if it's in the middle, it's top speed. Um, I don't typically use top speed because it, that's like 140 kilometers per hour. We would definitely fly off the rails. Much like we're going to right now. If we don't slow it down. All right. That's the cutoff. Release the brake, which we did. 
gently push the regulator forward, which we've been doing. For higher top speed, pull back the cutoff, yep, to the middle. Maintain fire as needed, add coal. To coast, release the regulator. So, if we just want to coast, which we're going uphill right now, so that's not going to work. But uh, when we're going downhill, or we're level, you can pull the regulator back and it'll coast. To apply stop, or to stop, apply the brake. Just don't throw it into stop. If wheel slipping, reduce the regulator and apply the sand, which is, as I said right here, this little red knob. Fire tips, temperature. Higher temperature means faster steam generation. As we can see, we have 18 bars. Or no, uh, we're, yeah, well that's the temp. Yeah, higher temp is faster steam. This is, we got low temp right now because we have full steam. Fire tips, blower, boost the fire using steam, useful when stationary. So instead of letting it go out at the station, it actually it actually makes it to where it, burn, it burns, but it burns cooler so that it stays, you know, it doesn't waste your coal. Uh, boost fire using air ventilation. Useful when on the go. Okay. This is what someone was asking probably about this kind of vent. This is a draft uh, vent. It's kind of like uh, normally they would have some kind of fan in a steam engine that would um, blow air into the firebox. So this is related to the firebox. Yeah. It boosts the fire. So this is what... It, it's got four or five different, uh, you know, uses, or four or five different levels. So depending on how much air you want coming in from the exhaust system to blow on the firebox depends on which one of these you would push down on. Oh, it sounds like it's, it's grinding so bad. It's like, oh, you're killing us. Anyway, back to the thing. And that's it. Like, that's the, that's the only thing I didn't really know about. Everything else I'd been using. So, um... And I don't really use it because, I don't know, we, as you can see, we don't really need it. Um, just keep adding coal. And it's in the upright position, so it means it's burning the coal the slowest right now. So, And you see how well we're uh, conserving you know, our speed and stuff. So that pretty much concludes the tutorial, ladies and gentlemen. Now what we're going to do is I am going to open this valve and let more water in. And then I'm going to let the engine speed up and see us how fast we can go until, uh, you know, until there's a tragedy. Here comes the water. Close that off. Take the brake off. For those of you who have been waiting for the whistle like I have, that is just, that's awesome. I love it. I'm going to be playing with this a lot. That's so cool. I love the sound, too. Alright. Well, if we don't get thrown off the track at this corner, we're probably going to get thrown off the track at that switch because I'm not going to slow down. Uh, if you like this one, uh, please leave me a like, comment, uh, tips, suggestions. Um, if you didn't understand something, I can, uh, I'll comment about it uh, on your comment and go over it again uh, if I can. Uh, I've been Nexus, and this has been D-Barrel Valley. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And I'm going to let you guys watch this out. And after it, after what hap whatever tragedy happens, I'm going to end the episode. So I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Oh, I thought we were going to go on the switch.
Oh wow. Oh, I think there's headlights over here or something. I'm not sure what those knobs are yet. I didn't see it in the tutorial. Alright, well I'm going to let you guys go because nothing seems to be happening. This thing is like just, it's handling all the corners. So, thanks very much guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you next time. Peace out.